really short video here talking about the upgradability of the express route gateways. So if you want a bit of context on how the express route gateway fits into the wider picture of express route and connections, etc., then watch a link below to a previous video on FastPath. But let's zoom in on this gateway object now, because under normal conditions, it does sit in the data path when traffic comes from on-prem into the VNet. And therefore we have to think about the size and shape of it in terms of SKU. This document here talks about the different SKUs that are available, the different attributes associated with it. Again, bandwidth is normally the one that customers pay most attention to. One thing I'd like to zoom in on here is the fact that we now do offer more flexibility in the seamless upgrade path. So here it talks about if you want to upgrade your gateways to a more powerful SKU, these are the options here. So you can go right from the base standard SKU up to high performance and now even ultra performance. And again, combining this with some knowledge from previous videos, we can zoom into this documentation in GitHub and find out when that change was made. So here we go back on the 26th of January, this document was updated and we added the fact that you could go from standard to ultra performance, which is not something that was possible even a year ago. So here I have in the portal a express route gateway. You can see here it's a standard SKU. So that's sitting in my gateway right now and it's passing traffic. In fact, it's passing traffic here from this virtual machine on premises that I'm RDP to, to a machine that's living inside my virtual network. I've sent a lot of pings and I haven't dropped a single one. So if we restart that ping now, go back to our gateway configuration and change that SKU all the way from the standard up to ultra performance. Let's go ahead and save that. A common question here is, how long does it take? Does this impact the data path? Well, let's find out. So I've kicked off the operation. I'm gonna come back when it's completed. And we're gonna look at how long it took and if it impacted the data path. Okay, we are back. Our operation is complete. And as we can see now, we now have an ultra performance SKU gateway. I made a note, started at about quarter past two, finished at about 10 to three. So it took around about 40 minutes for the ARM operation to complete. Let's check our data path. How was that during the period of time? Here's my running ping. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. So I had two packets from 3000 or so dropped during that time. I would say if you're making changes to something as fundamental as an express route gateway, regardless of my empirical evidence, I would suggest that you do that inside of a maintenance window and notify your operations team, etc. Normally express route gateways sit at the center of your world and can front hundreds and hundreds of VNets. But hopefully that gives you an idea now of the, the experience and the new capability that we added. So just to sort of reiterate, the reason why you might wanna do this is you could be running a standard SKU today or a high performance SKU, and you might want to increase the number of circuits you have attached to a gateway, or you might want to increase the throughput, connections per second, packets per second. You might be getting towards the limit of virtual machines in that network. Another one to call out would be if you are pointing your area of focus at express route gateways, again, pay attention to the clear delineation between regular gateways and AZ enabled gateways, a big gap that we see with deployments. You can't unfortunately move from a regular gateway to a AZ enabled gateway. You have to redeploy. But if you're making use of availability zones in your compute layer, in your data layer, in your application layer, for your storage layers, et cetera, et cetera, you want to align your network stack with that. So it's definitely a piece of work that you want to get scheduled in. Anyway, I hope that gives you a feel for the process and I'll speak to you soon.